Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LV426. Yes, that well-known little rock. In fact, we're actually on Tyranno, the second rock that we have, because we last time managed to move random randomers from our first rock, Yakil, or Asteroid, I suppose people like to prefer me to call it. Uh, we've got our first colony over here. This is a self-sustaining base at the moment. We managed to completely ignore that as we went over to Tyranno, uh, uh, to back up Honza, who was up here, he's now disappeared, uh, we, asked, we were trying to uh, set up the power and the uh, rocket relays here. And today, today, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to try and sort out a sanitation system. We have been working on the old outhouse systems for such a long time now. And honestly, honestly, we could do better. Not just because this has given us an infinite amount of dirt and we're not really dealing with our polluted water and a whole host of other waste issues that we're not taking care of. But also, if we don't go through the other options let's have a look down here for the lavatory and the shower and such forth we can process the polluted water using the power of the chlorine that we have up above mm, this is all polluted water so we'll have to, uh, polluted oxygen sorry so we're gonna have to break into there and try and contain some of this chlorine make ourselves a little uh, sewer slash sanitation system and then pump the polluted water down here for processing to that end we're gonna have to remove one of our earliest conditioning systems over here we've just got a water pipe going around in circles moving the cold from down here and swapping it with the hot up above but as you can see it has reached equilibrium now and uh there is some some heat creep from there and some cold creep from there but i think i think it's done its major job and we need to try and uh, empty out this water i'm seeing that we've got a full water line here where does this go does this is this doing anything it's not doing anything so we need to try and dump this somewhere Hmm. We are going to make a sanitation system, so if nothing else, we can dump that into the pipes there. It's just, it's really in the way. It's really in the way. My plan, my plan is to have, like, toilets here, uh, then have the, uh, the the sewer, as I say, over the back here. Okay, I've just set up the destruction orders for this little, little section over here. Uh, where, where is Hicks? Where is Hicks? He should be going around doing a whole bunch of this stuff. Bishop's going and doing some power. Uh, he's over here dealing with the older orders of making a ladder all the way down the side. I want to I wanna explore down through the whole of the map. I need to the expose every single tile if I'm going to take full advantage of all the materials that are available to us. But as you see, it takes uh, takes some time to get down there. We were sending Hicks through the bottom, but if I bring up our uh, temperature overlay, you can see it was getting uncomfortably hot for him down there. So before we can actually attack on this uh, this front down here, we're going to need to get ourselves some uh, some atmospheric suits. Which, honestly, I'm not sure if I've even got the research for. Oh, that one took a little bit to open up. Let's uh, pull out here and see. No, no, I don't. I don't, I don't have it yet. That's, it's, it's not very far away, but I don't have it yet. Does this mean we're getting a lot of temperature bleed? No, no, we're, we're not. And it's only heat down here anyway, so I, I'm happy with that. As, as long as long as we're not talking 1600 degrees uh, going up there, but that's fine. This is like maximum of a 60, and then we've got abyssalite, so I don't I don't think it's going to get too bad. Oh, we've got some 90s over here, pushing it to 100 with this igneous. Mm. Oh, Hicks, you've um not quite done as I'd like you to, but I think you're going to achieve everything I wanted you to anyway. That's fine. It's the results that matter, not so much the path you took to get there. I'm wondering if the uh, if Clay is ever going to bring in full damage for the duplicates. I I'm going to guess not, but uh, they do they do fall an awful long way sometimes. Hmm, by using every tile of space available to me, I can get the toilet set up that I want. This is not good, though, because we can't put a door on there. I'm, I'm actually going to have to cut into the abyss light, aren't I? That's, uh, it's not ideal, but yeah, I'll, go, I'll do it. Why not? The Y is merely one of precedent. I don't I don't want to start chipping away at the abyss light and ending up with none left, because I'm just like, we'll take a little bit off here, take a little bit off there, and then ended up with, uh, with all this cold bleeding into my toilets. That's, ah, oh, that, you, people like to be warm sat on the toilet, right? I'm, I don't know about you, I would rather sit on a nicely warm toilet seat than a frozen one. Oh, Hicks has taken damage. When has that happened? Anyway, ooh, radiation resistant seafood. Okay, cool, that's, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, so the, what I've gone ahead and done here is set up some uh, insulated pipes underneath so that I can start pr produce, uh, sorry, start providing the water that is already in these pipes to the sanitation here. I need to start thinking about how we're gonna bust in through up the top here. Obviously we're gonna end up with a nice system. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and put a, a door in about there. And then once again, going away at the uh, the abyss light I really really don't want to but we'll we'll do that and maybe pop it up the top here we get ourselves another uh, spindly grub fruit as well because you know that's that's a very important thing for us 
Okay, so we got the majority of the pipe work done there. We've got a nice little uh, loop set up, but that's fine. It's all going to sort itself out in the end. But I think it's time that we went and had a look at our boys on Turn Nano. Make sure nobody's, like, dying of starvation or anything silly like that. We've got a nice load of food over here. It's still unrefrigerated. These, this might be one of the places where I actually think about setting up, uh, you know, a cold box full of chlorine for the food. It, it, it probably is one of the few places where I actually did it. In the main game, I was just like, what's the point? You make so much food all the time that you... You can just carry on producing at the same rate that the food is rotting and you uh, you, you reach equilibrium beautiful right uh but here we're not we're not really producing that much food uh this this isn't really a self-sustaining colony we are still receiving food from the other world as well as oxygen uh so maybe that's if I can even remember how to set one up. I think you make a cross and then when this middle tile is made, you you, you break it and that gives you your vacuum. You need to put like a, a ladder up here because duplicates can only get in at a certain angle. Yeah. Really is a shame they're not opening up this area down here though because if we go to the gas overlay, as soon as it goes, gas overlay, th there's a lot of carbon dioxide. There's not as much as there was. I wonder where it's all gone. I kind of assume their repeated movement has like moved it around. I don't know, maybe. As we're rearranging the stables here, we've had a few escapees, no problem. We've got our uh, critter drop, drop off as up and ready to go. I also need to uh, dig all those up now, beautiful. Access to the coal generator as well. We should probably make this a super low priority. We appear to have already filled the battery up because, of course, these guys are making a lot of coal. Hmm, more power other than, the, other than the solar we've already got. Hmm. But anyway, let's leave these guys doing the jobs that they have lined up and let's go see what's going on. Not as much as I'd hoped, actually. I was kind of expecting to come back and see this fully built. Hicks, you've been you've been slacking, my friend. Been slacking. So the next question is, what pocket of chlorine are we going to attack? We are, of course, just up from the toilets from here. Uh, here we have some nice pockets, and of course we can come in through our uh, telescope and access way, come through this wall here and down and, and get into there, because of course chlorine sinks down to the bottom underneath all the oxygen, so that would be a nice way. But I think what we're actually going to go for is over our teleportation device over here. We've got this little pocket, and we can easily put this, like, eight... Let's, let's call it less than uh, less than a ton per, per tile into a gas container. I think, I think. They are quite small, so I, I don't know whether they will actually take it all. But we, we should be able to set up some sort of gas lock here so we'll end up with just chlorine in our pipes. I'm hoping. Okay, I'm starting with this setup here. Hopefully, when these two tiles get built, they take priority and stop the gas coming through before we have a big problem. The only problem we could really have is the carbon dioxide getting there and mixing it up. But uh, carbon dioxide and chlorine like to just stay where they are relative to each other, at least under my observations, that's what's been going on. So uh, I, hopefully, they will just stay there. Oh, we've actually got toilets being built this time. Beautiful. We're really going to have to stop this connection here, though. That's, that, that's all sorts of bad very bad in fact we're gonna have to let water out it's that bad <laughs> there it goes it's not a lot of water but it's some water got a got a little hatch sleeping underneath we are in Terrano, back back at the the terrain area over the terran sorry area over here we seem to have a hatch sleeping in nothing and then another one sleeping right underneath uh, that that's crazy i've never seen those before let's uh let's can we capture can we capture we can't we're gonna have to wait for them to get out of where they are oh what's he doing there we go. All right, he's done something weird. Well, that, that's a weird game. <laughs> mm, this guy's a bit awkward. Okay, he's stuck in the door. We're not really going to be able to get him out. Can we do one of those uh, for some of them? If I just keep clicking, are we going to be able to catch him? I don't think so. I don't think that's that. the big shames. Oh, hatches don't eat igneous rocks. So we're going to be starving our hatches and only feeding the stone hatches okay that's that's a bit weird I, I didn't i didn't realize this is my first time playing with uh with stone hatches so we'll, we'll see how it plays out we'll see how it plays out back over at the toilet saga no nah, we're still pretty much where we were just quickly flying back to our ranches on Tirano. this this guy's still stuck he's he's still having troubles D dick lay problems <laughs> Talking of problems, back with the toilets. We've only got one cycle left until this water stops giving out. Now, I've started uh, making my way down to the salt water. That's even more hassle, though. We've got to put in another... Let's have a look. Is it in refinement? I think it's a refinement. We could very well have not got it, actually. There it is. The desalinator. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and click on that. And let's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if randoms can do it. He's he's in the wrong dimension right now. Hmm. Not the wrong dimension. The wrong, the wrong, wrong planetoid. Oh, look. 
the carbon dioxide traps got built. Beautiful. Looks like Bishop is indeed doing his best to make sure that the chlorine stays contained. Going through and doing the walls. This is beautiful. Just exactly what we want. I'm a little surprised at that. I was about to say that it's not Hicks coming along to do this, but this also works. Let's just kind of bump up the priorities of the other dig orders around here now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's been done. It's been done. Okay, that's cool. I uh, just want to make sure that all of this gets done pretty quickly here. In fact, maybe even push those up a little bit. Suffocating, sorry. Oh! Uh, take a moment. Let's see what's going on. Random randomers here. Why can't you go through the door? We need to submit a bio scan. Okay. Uh, random randomers unreachable. He's on the wrong side. Oh no, quick. Let's do this uh, super high prior. Hansa, my friend, you need to go and rescue your friend. What is going on? Ah! It shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take. Let's speed up the game a little bit here. Uh, watch and see how dead randomers is. It's, get it's getting fine. It's close. Close times, close times. Let's see how it's going to do. The little hand scan. I didn't really just noticed they've only got four hands. Okay. Is that is that now good? Are we, are we there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Life. Life is grand. Okay. What, what, what are we doing? Talking about chlorine, right? <laughs> Colony achievement. What did, we, what did we achieve from that? Let's have a look. I don't know. I don't even know what happened there. Ghost of Gravitas. Recover a database entry by inspecting facility ruins. Did we Did we really get that? Is that really what just happened there? I don't think so. Okay, we've cracked our way into the chlorine. Is any of it going to come up and over? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I, I really didn't want that. The uh, the carbon dioxide is pushing back, though. We can we can hope. What is the pressure over it? Oh, man. It's, it's very low numbers of grams. Hmm. Not ideal, but we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. It'll be fine. That's why we have this gas trap here, right? Correct? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> So it looks like we've got a few days of work ahead of us. We're getting the gas pump put into there, and of course we've got some power coming from this manual generator over here. But we've got a gas line that needs to be put into place. It is a long one, and it's going to take a while. I've also started setting up things over here. If we get on into our plumbing, is it actually in base? They keep the uh, the liquid reservoir in here. I want to do three of them. Unfortunately, this guy is in the way. Uh, well, then we're going to have a, a sensor on the other side. Now, I'm not sure whether we've got this sensor yet. Let's have a look. Liquid pipe germ sensor. We need refined metals and we need plastic. Oh no. Plastic, you say? So far, I have been unable to find any plastic on the uh, Yakil, our first asteroid over here. So maybe let's go over to Tirano and see what we've got going. We seem to... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We've got an actual oil reservoir. That That's more than I wanted to deal with, if I'm to be honest with you. But there is a whole bunch of crude oil here, a little slickster. Uh, maybe we could dig down to him. I was wondering what to do with all my carbon dioxide. Maybe we could dig down to him and uh, mop this up, pour it into... Do, do we... Do we even do we even pour it into the no we've got a refinery but we don't have the oil distillery which of course nothing is getting researched at the moment because random randomers doesn't have a research base maybe, maybe we need to work on that here we go oil refinery let's uh, set that up for research and then over here well um i guess we're gonna build a little research station here it's kind of all we can do let's get a supercomputer and plug that one into this area it's nice it's got got some nice plant pots and stuff and then where are we gonna put the second one like here maybe yeah let's do that Oh, and it, it is very warm down there. I'm not entirely certain of my chances. I mean, maybe we could just, like, build a line of insulated tiles, come down, scoop underneath the slickster and grab him. I mean, it, it's nice to leave him in the warm area, though. Look, look at this. Vacuum is cold. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll set some sort of heat lock up here. I'm not sure how to do that, but maybe. Well, you, you pull a vacuum. That's how you set up a proper heat lock zero calories why why are we at zero calories okay that's a bit of a problem that is a bit of a problem you remember this that we was talking about we've got another problem with that this being a refrigerated store uh for feud refrigerated food storage i don't know what happened with my words there just cut, totally broke i want to get a conveyor loader down uh, i want to do one of those here and then we want to have a conveyor shoot here but i think the problem that we've got not only can we not place it on top of the tile is that nobody in this colony here yeah has the skill for the uh the mechatronics let's have a look in the skills over here i don't think either of these two are going to be going that way no no mechatronics down the end here look do we just send bishop across i mean we got the teleports we we could do this as soon as everything is uh, prepared okay okay let's 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 do it i don't know if we've even got the parts but i'm gonna come over to your kill we're gonna zoom in on our teleport pod over here i'm gonna go bishop could you please make your way over 
where, where are you? There you are. Make your way over to the, the other world. We need to see if you can save the day. I sure do hope so. Of course, we're going to have to turn priority up. Uh, literally just... Oh, wait, wait. Press the button. Pressing the button is a very important part of this process here. But yeah, we're going to have to see if we can just, just do this and then send him back. Okay, we have arrived. Bishop using the teleporter, hopefully. I hope so. Oh, I hope so. I don't want to see him disappear and then come back. Uh, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Picking up... Uh, there we go. Construction supply. Good. Okay, we are going to have some troubles. There's a full toilet. Everybody's gone to sleep. The work has not been finished. So I have called yellow alert. Uh, red alert, in fact. Red alert. We need to get this done. Oh, the other thing I've done is decide to uh, kill the hatch that got stuck in the door. We don't seem to be able to do anything with him. But under this, conditions of alert. People going around and doing as much work as they can. We got, we, we've got to get that toilet emptied, you know? Oh, no. All right. It was too late. It's too late. It's already started going bad. No. I mean, what's been Bishop gonna think his first time here and he doesn't have a toilet to use. Ah. Oh. Okay, it didn't quite go as smooth as I was hoping for, but I think I think we can do some other things. Okay, so something that I want to do now, is it consumable ores? Let's have a look. Consumable ores. I want to put some bleach stone in there. Uh, so obviously the first thing we need to do, dig up some bleach stone. Okay, power has also been applied. No materials to store. I disagree. Look, what are you? Uh, allow manual use. There we go. And sweep only. That's also very important. Of course, if we hadn't have put it to sweep only, when random randomers had picked up this bit of bleach stone, came over and put it into the conveyor loader, it would have been shipped down underneath, as I hope it's just about to. There we go. Uh, you can also see it's a vacuum in there at the moment. Bam! Chlorine-filled environment. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, if it wasn't sweep only, uh, randoms would have come along and tried to take that back out of there. Okay, we're going to now turn that off and turn on everything edible. It says no pending deliveries. I'm not sure. I believe you. Ah, uh, we've got to sweep everything. That's why, of course. And now all our food should be put into this nice little pocket down here and it should be sterile atmosphere. Beautiful. I'm not sure if it's still going to spoil above four degrees, uh, but micro uh, destroying conditions have decreased this food's decay rate. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much it says change per cycle zero at the moment. I think I think this should now be perfectly stable. Also, at least high level research has been achieved. We're going to get the other one in place soon. I think it's time to send Bishop back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're done on this rock for now. If I could just teleport him home, that would be great. We'll be back in a little while to check you guys out in a second. But first, let's uh, let's go and see what's happening on the other side. Over this way, we should have a bit of a line going put into play. No, no, there's none of it being worked on. Guys, are you not you're not feeling this job, are you? Okay. I have interest. What is Hicks doing? He's uh, clearing out space for this stable. Okay, that's actually quite an important job. So we'll uh, we'll hold here while he does that. Okay, the way is clear, but he hasn't fixed up these walls, so this guy thinks he's outside of a stable. We just need to uh, encourage this to happen. I've already put this ladder down at a high priority, and I'm going to put these walls in at a higher priority, and hopefully Hicks will come around to do all of that. Yeah, yeah, it's, go it's actually going all incredibly well at the moment, apart from the lines not being done, but we, we can hold on for that as this stable gets done. With a whole lot of work to do on the sewage system, we have run out of uh, cool slush. This this might be bad. Uh, we have, however, got ourselves a bit of a research role in. I need to come over to, to Tirano to make a use of it, though. Uh, we're going to come down here, and I am just going to throw down a refinement and a... Where, where are you? Royal oil refinery? Royal refinery? Yeah, royal refinery. Why not? Uh, we're going to throw that down here as well. We've got ourselves the slick all the way down this way. I think we're just going to build ourselves a nice little exploratory mine mining tunnel. We're going to come down to here. I'm going to just kind of scalp off the top of that uh, that abyssalite there, and we're going to try and go just straight down into here. Get ourselves a nice supply of copper ore while we're at it as well. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this placement either. Mm, yeah, we're going to cancel that one. We're going to go back. But we, we definitely want to put this lot down. Uh, we want to feed the slick as much carbon dioxide as we can, and then mop up all of the oil down there. Random Randomers has absolutely been knocking out this research. Not only have we managed... Oh, I've, I've instantly gone and lost it. Not only have we managed to uh, get the fossil fuels and the plastic manufacturing, but we're also more than halfway through the liquid-based refinement so we can get the desalinator. Wow. As well as that, they've been coming down here. They've built the oil refinery. We've got somewhere set up for the plastic polymer press. We can make our way down... Well, ooh, I, thought, I thought the slick had died for a moment there. We can make our way down there uh, and then I've got to figure out how we're going to get things into the pipage here. 
I think something like that will do it, surely. Surely. What we've got here is a uh, bottle emptier going into a small divot where we have a liquid pump. That will then pipe its contents along to the refinery, and then everything that we refine goes to the polymer press. Now, we're going to have a few uh, a few side effects. This oil refinery, for instance, will leak uh, natural gas at 90 grams per second. That's, uh, that's quite heavy. That's quite a lot. And also, the polymer press, I don't know if it will tell us here, but it also leaks water. Uh, so, these aren't the worst things in the world to deal with. But we don't want either of those getting down to our slick state. He's got to eat all of the uh, all of the carbon dioxide. So I think we're going to just put a little bit of a trench in here uh, and stop any materials that could fall down from falling down. I thought I'd just come over to your kill to check the progress of the pipe and it turns out they are totally done here. I've got a little uh, element sensor checking to make sure there is chlorine around. Oh no, there's carbon dioxide down the bottom here. Okay, we'll, we'll do something about that. It turns out carbon dioxide does indeed go below chlorine. That's caught me a little off guard. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just dig out a little trench underneath. I don't know whether we're going to be able to reach it, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, how about over here? Okay, over here we've not quite got as far as I would like. Let's just go back over here and see. Yeah, we're already picking up and moving stuff so we'll we'll just have to make do with the chlorine uh, with the carbon dioxide sorry of course there are ways of filtering let's try and do that before it gets down into the base let's just slap down a gas element sensor a knot gate and a gas vent okay that should be cool that should probably be a high pressure one but i don't actually have access to those at the moment of course connect everything up and we're going to be checking the gas elements in there just to make sure it is indeed chlorine if it's not chlorine the knot gate will fire and tell the vent to sh uh, throw out whatever is inside there but of course we're going to have to uh, put that at a high priority i'm sure Oh no, things weren't built in time and we're venting chlorine to the atmosphere. Now, thankfully, it's not much, but man, guys, this, all of this, now. Okay, we've got Hicks to just turn it off, but still, it's very important that these things... Oh, oh it's very important that this gets switched. Okay, we've just researched the desalinator. Let's go ahead and place it down. Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. We're going to have ourselves... Uh, I'm going to destroy that pipe. I'm going to then put it into this pipe over here, possibly uh, taking priority over the polluted water. I'm not sure. I feel like the polluted water that comes out of the cool slush guys that actually wants to go for farming. Yes, because everything else needs to be cleaned. Like, the, 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 the liquid that comes out of the toilet is polluted water to start with. And that sounds like it would be great to go into the farms. But it's full of germs. And to uh, clean it most effectively, we need to turn it into regular water. So that we can... Uh, d d germs just die in regular water anyway. And then pour pouring it, all the chlorine in there will help doubly so. I totally forgot this output carbon dioxide. will be at least 150 degrees... Uh, or hotter. Okay, so I was worried that by c cracking open this, we might end up with a cold slickster. Sounds like no. We're going to be able to keep him warm just from the output of this machine over here. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I would kind of want to bump the priority of this a little bit higher than the rest as we want to have that coming out before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this should be fine. This should be fine. Bishop's not in the right bed. I've just been told someone's got high stress. It is because Bishop has not been able to sleep because he's not been next to the light. Ah, oh, that that's that's really bad. He was down here. Look look how far away. He stole random random his bed. Or what was. That means we can technically support another duplicate. But I don't want to bring one in here. I want to bring one in on the other side. Look at that climb. <laughs> Seeming genuinely dangerous to come down here and start laying down the pipework, but Bishop and Hicks are on it anyway. They're both getting quite ill from it, and I really wish Bishop wasn't, because, uh, man, he's he's going to have a breakdown at some point. You're an ugly crier. Okay, that's that's not too bad. We can, we can live with that. We can live with that. Obviously, would much rather they didn't. Also, getting a filtration system put in place, but obviously, would much rather Bishop didn't. But we uh, we might have to make sacrifices for things to go the way we need them to. Oh, Bishop, I'm I'm sorry, mate. Was was your trip to the other world that traumatic? Did it did it really do you in that bad? Yeah. Okay. Did you just need me to tell you? Is that, is that no? No, you're back. You're you're up and down all over the place, mate. I really recommend you just take a couple of days off work. You know, just sit in the corner, do your thing, play with the fish, whatever is needed to make you feel better for work, because that's what this is all about getting you back to work. 
Oh, I'm getting warnings of scolding, and indeed it's going relatively bad down here. I didn't realise there was going to be quite so much heat transfer. It's literally just coming up here. I think we might need to put a door in, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Yes? Here goes Honda. Okay, mopping up seems to go okay. All right, that that was that was fairly good. What was the achievement we had earned as well? I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Slick, enter the oil barn for the first time. Okay, that that should have given me a clue as to what was scolding. I'm never sure how to uh, keep the temperature at bay, but I know what I do need to do. I need to come into the liquid and I need to go crude oil. Drop that in there, please. Oh, you know what else I need to do? This this is a must. Uh, medicine triage cot we uh don't have a hospital we might just build one here okay it took strong persuasion but we've got random randomers into a triage cot no no okay all right you're gonna go get food i hope it's food that you're going to go get but yeah there we go here is on the list Ooh, it's gonna slow down production of the plastic which is what we're after but you know what i think i think duplicate lives are more important toilets toilet problem now always a toilet problem Quick check in on Bishop for the morning. It's uh, it's not looking great. His stress just keeps going up. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why suddenly it's so bad for him. Okay, let's come back over here and see how Randomers is doing. Yeah, he's on the hill. Okay, beautiful. Also, we can see much lower down now. We've got another oil reservoir, some more slicks. We've got a little pocket of magma there. That's nice. And diamond is also really tasty. Okay, pumping of the liquids has begun. It's literally just begun, though. Uh, we're pumping up. It's brine. I thought it was salt water. I'm not sure whether the, I, this should be able to deal with brine, right? Do I need to specifically search for brine in here, though? I bet I do. Yeah, let's try that and keep an eye on what comes through. <laughs> brine, 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 brine. Yeah, it's, it's all brine. Okay, cool. That's good. So in this game, there's two states to salty water. You have salt water and brine. Brine being the more concentrated form of salt. Uh, not, not so much water. Okay, the desalinator's doing its job. And laying through an amount of water. It's not a great amount, but it's an amount. Ah, when you forget some old wires on an upgraded circuit. It's red everywhere. We're in trouble. <laughs> How has Bishop got entombed in the door? More importantly, why isn't he being let go by Hicks? Oh, well, like, what What even was that? Is, is he able to escape? I sure do hope so. Like, wow, well, there's, there's nothing really to tell me either way. But it would be Bishop that did it, of course. Of course. So my original plan was to actually clean the water before into uh, ordinary water before we ended up uh, de-germing it. But the video that I was watching a little moment ago was doing it with polluted water and saying it works absolutely fine. So I could do with polluted water for my food. So let's give it a go. Well, the pipes are in place and we're starting to store a little bit of polluted water in this liquid reservoir here. And we are just missing one item to be able to turn this into a fully functional system. Or at least something that's got all the parts and it should be fully functional, but I've put it together wrong somehow. That is, of course, the plastic. And we're getting very close to actually getting this done. You can see we've got 21 kilograms of crude oil in the oil refinery. And actually, this uh, consumes, if we come up to here, 10 kilograms per second. So to my mind, we've got two processes that can can be run here uh to two yeah two two entire things that could be run here we are just waiting for random randomers and honda to actually go ahead and do the work i didn't realize we were so close to night time when i started recording it's a bit rubbish we'll wait for morning okay it turns out honda's taking a little bit of damage but such a light amount of damage that i'm not allowed to put him into the triage cot over here there he is honda ineligible not allowed i'm sure i could actually drag this slider down and it will be fine i've also asked them to come along and build this credit drop off because this guy he be angry this poke shell is really not pleasant to be hanging around with right now so i want this to get built up and put him over there because look because look because look honda's getting beaten up again it's not it's not a winner mate it's not a 
winner. But with the crit critter drop off going up over there, we can capture this critter and then ask for him to be dropped off over here. And then just like instantly, we should end up with uh, with everything being safe again. We might even just take out this block underneath and drop him into the water. I think that's probably the safer option thinking about it. Oh, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Is this it? Honza's current er errand is indeed to turn the, turn the handle. The handle has been turned. We've got some uh, plastic. Oh, no, no, this isn't plastic. This is petroleum going to the plastic. This is now emitting steam. <sighs> not great. Let's let's press F4 and have a look. Where's the steam? I'm not I'm not seeing any steam anywhere. You guys seeing any steam anywhere? It doesn't matter because we're producing plastic. Apart from I'm not seeing any plastic getting product produced here. We got six kilos. At what point does it drop out? You know, you're right, random viewer that hasn't actually made a comment yet. I don't know why we can't connect this up straight to the uh, to the slick down here. Why we have to mop it up all the time. Yeah, that was a bit of a silly option, wasn't it? Okay, it's taken a while and some scolding has appeared, but we're nearly done here. I also have a little bit of another problem, uh, and that problem is that we've got those swampy delights left being sent back to uh, to the guys on the other side. Is that what you're actually making now? Well, let's have a look, see what you're making. You are making things with bog jelly. That's pretty cool. Make, make Maybe, maybe. I mean, we appear to have some... Where did all the polluted water come from? What? <laughs> it's good that it is. So that means that we're actually going to have some food being sent on. Scolding random randomers. That's fine. Not a problem. we just got to try and get this last bit of plastic being turned over so that we can get the polluted water that is beginning, beginning to be built up in there, being, uh, being disinfected. Because I do believe, I do believe we've got a whole bunch of germs in it. No surface germs. That's, that's not helpful. Do not believe you. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It normally tells us right here. Okay, cool. Starvation. Random randomers. Ah, oh, really? I mean, there's plen plenty of food to be harvested there. What? Okay, I've just upped Honza's priorities for farming so he can actually go and, you know, harvest the food. Oh, how did this happen? Suddenly a whole bunch of... E so I dug out this tile right here. Ah, oh, man, this, this is not good. This is not good at all. Uh, I don't even know... Whether my dudes can mop it or not. It's it's very hot. It's very... Oh, I mean, it's 80. I mean, it's it's too hot for my pump. I'll tell you that. Oh, oh, oh. Which means we're going to get a whole... I might just let this be a way of dealing with it. Is it is it leaking out? It is leaking out. That's a bit of a shame. It's going to be like, if it deletes the element, then no problem. But it doesn't. So, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just... Let this sort itself out, right? Uh, not only is this all sorts of not what I want, but it's actually spreading the temperature around worse. Ah, that's really bad. Okay, so my plan is just to dump it all in a hole. What else can we do? Like, really, what else can we do? We're going to pick up the hot stuff from over here, come and dump it over this way, and hopefully that will solve most of the issues for us. I mean, the, the lack of oxygen to breathe is a problem. Oh man, I cannot bust into here. Look, 480 kilograms. Oh yeah, that's, that's a problem. Okay, random randomers actually taking enough damage to uh, to need to go into the bed now. Okay, that's a bit of a shame, but I suppose it'll be fine. Really need that plastic. Urgh. We have a small problem, and I'm really not sure how the water got in here, but we've got ourselves some clean water inside our polluted water line. Not great. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build a little bit of a filter here. If it's not polluted water, because this is the bit where it starts to matter, if it's not polluted water, we're going to dump it into this little tank underneath here and uh, help help this little Paku that's kind of trying to survive. This really need a bridge put in place so it turns out the liquid vent when it's closed will not let water pass i've broken this pipe here now to make this one work but when it was connected it was still wasn't working uh this 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 one little pipe here that's, that's all we need is this one little pipe just here and so the flow goes yeah yeah beautiful beautiful all right let's uh let's cancel that out we don't want that yep dropping dropping all the water out all right beautiful back to go see what's going on with the plastic situation it's uh it's still pretty warm down here Okay, we're getting starvation warnings from Honza and random randomers. So we're sending Ripley to send a, a huge food delivery through. As you can see, the Swampy Delights. I'm not sure how many she's carrying. Let's uh, scroll down here. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Four, seven, se seven odd uh, days worth of food for a duplicate. So we'll see how long this lasts over here. Of course, one thing we do need to do as soon as I find it. Okay, this is where it came in. We need to make sure that we sweep this all up. Oh, H Honza would rather stuff his face than actually go sweet but that that's fine i suppose i suppose randomers is going to do the same yeah okay cool okay food goes into the conveyor loader it gets jumped down and that should now be unspoilable oh dear randoms has been 
fine for like a day. Okay, Honda, we, we need to swap you around again. Oh man, look at this. He went down to try and clean up some of this area. He's got a lot of work done, but oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Let's get him back in the triage car. Ooh, I can definitely see a day when everyone made a mess. Why? Well, it turns out the toilet does need fixing. One of those jobs that needs working on. Honda's not going to do it, so let's just make sure he does. Okay, cleaning out, house tidying, disinfecting. I mean, I don't, I don't really care who does it as long as someone does it. Whoa, this has turned into much more of a headache than I even thought it could ever be. Uh, to the point where, look, we've got three people up here now. Yes, indeed, I have asked for Hicks to come across. Where is he? There's, there's these two over here, Random and Honda. Hicks is about he was sleeping over here where are you now oh he's chowing down on mill lice all the way on the other side of the map okay well i brought hicks down here anyway uh to try and get some buildings done quicker it seems to be working out okay my idea is uh, almost entirely to pick up this water here that's about 20 degrees pump it through uh, a whole series of pipes oh no no I've, pre I've pressed too many buttons a whole series of pipes down to these radiant pipes here where hopefully we're just going to condense it all out uh, uh, in fact it looks like we even need to bring it down like so in fact, that one night of running with a little bit of cooling, just a little bit of cooling has come down and got most of this ethanol dealt with. We just, we really need to get it mopped up now. That's, that's the big thing. Okay, back on the other base that I thought was self-sustaining, but of course we have run out of water, so we, our plants have kind of just shut down completely. But you might notice that we've got uh, an overabundance of hatches here. Uh, let's try and drown them. Let, let's try and drown them. Okay, we've got settings applied, but I'm not sure if people are going to use it because it's a flooded building. That's a shame. Okay. Much easier to carry, uh, carry eggs than it is to carry critters it turns out i mean we could just be like hey this this guy here let's attack him okay the combats has happened we we should have some meat now this is fun uh, are you also elderly sir you are let's attack you that that should also be good right this is very manual we'll have to figure out another way Okay, I'm going to see if I can't automate the egg pickupping and dropping into the water. And then we should have, like, just a meat sauce kick cooking over. That would be pretty good. We're already starting to get a bit of a... Uh, a Oh, I thought this was going to go to barbecue, but we've got some meat. The meat's going to be turned into barbecue any moment now. Just got to wait for that yellow bar to go across. Like so. Okay, and what have we got now? Oh, let's, let's, let's refresh. We've got 4,000 calories of barbecue already. All right, beautiful. Barbecue is the OP food, it has to be said. Starvation? What? Honza? Why? Why, why are you having problems? We literally just sorted out food on the other side. Why are you having troubles? Everyone can eat the meal lice. I, I just, I just think... I just think you're making up problems, mate. I don't, I don't think there's actually a problem at all. Oh, man, it's taken plenty of alert, alert abuse, but I think we're at the point now where there's no ethanol down here anymore. So we're going to get this liquid pump built again, and we're going to go back to where we were to begin with. We're probably going to end up turning this pump off because at the moment it's just keeping this area cool, and we don't want to do that. We want the slick to keep the area cool. More carbon dioxide comes in. It gets warmed up down here. The slick eats it. It gets pushed back up here, and the carbon dioxide just carries on. Cooling down this area, basically, is what, what's going to happen slowly on the super long term. Okay, I'm going to throw the kill switch. Th kill switch is thrown. As you can see, we've got some... Uh, going to let this water just drain through now. It should, should hopefully all drain out. The next question is, do we do we just rip it all da back down? I, th I think we might. I think we might. It's not needed now, right? Yeah, I have a feeling that hopefully we're not going to need a cooling loop again. And if we do, we, we could just fire it back up. I'll leave this pump in the water here because at some point we'll probably want to move the water and we can probably tidy up all the plumbing for this carbon skimmer as well. Oh, do elderly critters produce? I have no idea. I, I really hope so. They seem to be idle and hungry a lot. This guy's going to be ready in 86 cycles. No, no. He's been being ready for 86 cycles. He's going to gonna come out in, uh, let's call it, 80, uh, 24 cycles time. That's not how maths works. Wait, 14 cycles. Oh, look, the little baby's come out before the uh, the elderly died. That That's pretty cool. That is cool. Hopefully, we'll have a continuation of the crude oil production, though there does seem to be a little bit of a problem with that. 
We're not producing a great deal of crude oil down here. A moment's silence for the elderly Sixter. He didn't quite do the job that we needed him to, but he did provide. Oh look, the baby's actually doing stuff as well. I wasn't expecting to see that at all. We've got more going in. Uh, we seem to be a long way off the production of plastic though. I, I'm just gonna have to sit tight and see at what point it, it actually happens. Good, thankfully, he is producing a lot of oil. So what are we going to do with the meat? We should send it back. Where, where's the return journey? Meat. Send that through. Oh, wow. We're practically at the point where we are out of carbon dioxide. Mmm. Okay. We need to switch this base power. Uh, yeah, indeed. We, we need to suddenly start this, getting all the way down this way, and we need to run this into a serious power spline. And we're going to run our, our base off of coal. Yeah, what could go wrong there? In fact, there's not, we're not actually drawing that much power anyway. Mm. Okay, we have more coal, well, more carbon dioxide being produced. Hopefully it's going down. I'm also going to set up a small system over here. Oh, as soon as I get some more uh, copper dug up for uh, storing the, the chlorine. We've got, we've got a lot. It needs, needs to go. Why, why, why is there so much here? We keep an eye on Hicks for the morning here. We can see that he's not doing incredibly well. He's got a bit of a bad animation on the go. He doesn't look well. Maybe he's got a touch of food poisoning on the go. I don't know. All I do know, though, is his stress is re reaching up to 87%. I think it's time to send him back to his nice, uh, plush, cush cushy existence back on Yakil. All right, man, you need just go be chill. Yeah, go, go, go share horror stories with Bishop about what the other rock's like. Having watched Random Random has come down here and work the oil refinery and the polymer press once again, we have just got ourselves up to 30 kilograms of plastic. And we might be like, yay, that's an achievement, right? And it really is an achievement. But if we come into the plumbing and have a look at the liquid pipe germ sensor, we need 50 kilograms, 50 kilograms. It's taken me a long time to get here. What, the 30 cycles, something like that? This system is working. In fact, this system is working quite well. We're getting a whole bunch of carbon dioxide coming out here it's getting quite toasty it was getting too too toasty for us over here it was actually starting to get up to like as you can see 90 degrees over there so we've pushed back a little bit of an insulated tile we've also got a grooming station here but it's too hot too hot for our rancher to come down and make use of that so we'd like to what, what, what are you doing you overheating what this this is not acceptable it literally can't be overheating it's it's at 24 degrees it's overheat temperature is 25 okay i'm not sure what's going on with that maybe we picked up some liquids that were not acceptable yes no, 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 this is airflow, not... Okay, okay, this should be fine. Hmm. Anyway, tangents aside, I think we're going to have to do another plan at least for the next few days. Over on this side, you can see that we have ourselves a cycle sensor. Is no one actually working on this? I really, I really would like someone to work on this, please. Okay, so we have a cycle sensor set up here. What I'm going to do is turn on the pumping here because as you can see, the polluted water, it's come out of the toilets. It's sat inside this liquid reservoir and it's gone ahead and it's got completely clean. There are no germs here, which means we can then pump this out as clean polluted water. Yes, strange concept, but it does exist. Clean polluted water that will go off towards our farms to feed uh, our bog jelly and get ourselves back on track with the food. We're having little minor crises, but it's nothing, nothing we can't handle and so we have a loop set up with this going around and diluting itself down going through the chlorine getting itself down to zero germs when we are fairly sure that the toilets have not just been used like they have just been used now we've got to repair that pipe but they've just been used now so we're going to turn this thing off here uh, uh, this uh, liquid shut off valve as you can see the cycle sensor has turned off uh, when the water is clean it will then get passed up and around and down and through all this piping here to our farms but with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where i'm going to do a little bit of something with the farms over here i think we can get a much more automated system on the go particularly with the ranches down here we've figured out that we can so far move the eggs over this way and uh we're we're basically just drowning them as soon as they are born. It's a bit savage, but we're getting a fair amount of meat. So I'd like to be able to pick that up. But also we're getting meat that will be dying over here. I'd like to pick that up and also get it delivered over to the electric grill. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.